Hello viewers, we have been discussing uh, some MCQ, some MCQs that is related to MA in English entrance test. And without any delay, let's resume our discussion. Today's first question is, the novel tells the story of twin brothers, Waldo, the man of reason and intellect, and Arthur, the innocent half-wit, the way their lives are inextricably intertwined. So we have to tell now which is the novel. Okay, let me re repeat the question. The novel tells the story of twin brothers, Waldo, the man of reason and intellect, and Arthur, the innocent half-wit, the way their lives are inextricably intertwined, which is the novel. So we have to find out which is the novel. Number A is saying the tree of man. Number B is saying boss. Number C is saying the solid mandala. Number D is saying the uh, baby sector. And the correct answer is number C, the solid mandala. Next question. Who among the following was not a member of Scribbler's Club? Thomas Parnell, Alexander Pope, Joseph Edison, and John Gay. The correct answer is number C, John Edison. Sorry, Joseph Edison. Next question. Death is a theory, theological term brought into literary criticism by death. Number A is saying uh, anthology, comma, St. Augustine. Number B is saying ambiguity, comma, William Empson. Number C is saying adequation, comma, F.R. Walter Ong. Number D is saying epiphany, James Joyce. The correct answer is number D, epiphany. Epiphany is a theological term brought into literary criticism by James Joyce. Next question. Which of the following works does not have a madman as a character in it? Let me repeat the question. Which of the following works does not have a mad woman as a character in it? The correct answers will be uh, the correct answer is so I will read the options. Number A is saying the yellow wallpaper, number B the mad woman in the attic, number C is saying Jane Eyre, number D is saying Wild Sargasso C. And the correct answer is number B the mad woman in the attic. So let's proceed to the next question. Next question is saying, which of the following is not a quest narrative? Which of the following is not a quest narrative? Options are number A, Sally's, Alastair, number B, Byron's, Manfred, number C, Coleridge, Christabel, number D, Keats, and Domion. The correct answer is number C, Coleridge, Christabel is not a quest narrative. Now, what is quest narrative? If you don't know, if you want to know, then you please have a look in the Google. Simple. Next question, the novel has a scene where African-American students are mad to compete with fight with each other as they rush for a gold coin tossed on an electric blanket. Identify the novel. Okay, I will repeat the question. The novel has a scene where African-American students are mad to compete and fight with each other as they rush for a gold coins tossed on an electric blanket. Identify the novel. Number A is saying Richard Wright, Ned Ibsen. Number B, James Baldwin, Another Country. Number C, Ralph Ellison, Invisible Man. Number D, Tony Morrison, Blue as Eyes. And the correct answer will be Number C, Ralph Ellison, Invisible Man. Next question. G.M. Hopkins, Win Hover. G.M. Hopkins Literary Works, Win Hover. It is dedicated to, number A, to Christ our Lord. Number B, to Christ our Lord. Means here, uh, spelling. We, we have to also check how the word is written. The capital letter, small letter. To Christ, comma, our Lord. To Christ, our Lord. Number C, to no one. Number D, to Christ the Lord. And the correct answer is number B, to Christ our Lord. Next question. His cooks with long disuse their trade forgot. Cool was his kitchen, though his brains were hot. Who is the character whose sting, stinginess passed into a proverb? Let me repeat it. His cooks with long disuse their trade forgot. Cool was his kitchen, though his brains were hot. Who is this character whose stinginess passed into a proverb? Number A, Quora. Number B, Sime. Number C, Jimri. Number D, Echitofel, if I'm not wrong. Number B is the correct one. Sime. Next question. Leopold Bloom. Leopold Bloom in Ulysses is number A, a great war veteran. Number B, a Dublin bar owner. Number C, a Jewish advertising agent. Number D, an Irish novelist. So who is he? Leopold Bloom. Number C, a Jewish advertising agent. Next question. Here is a list of early plays imitating Greek and Latin plays. Pick the old one out. 
Here is a list of early English plays imitating Greek and Latin plays. We have to pick the old one out. Number A saying Gorbatov. Number B saying Tamerlane. Number C, Ralph Royster Doyster. Number D, uh, Gamer Gooden's Needle. And the correct answer is number B, that is Tamerlane. Next question. Where does Act 1, Scene 1 of William Congreve's Way of the World open? Number A, a chocolate house. Number B, a pub. Number C, a, a care for. Number D, the drawing room of Sir Wilful's mansion. And the correct answer is number A, that is a chocolate house. Let's go on. Next question. Brother to a prince and fellow to a beggar, if he can be found worthy. This is the epigraph. Now, what is epigraph? I think you all know. Uh, if you don't know, then please go through the meaning of it. Uh, let me re repeat it. Brother to a prince and fellow to a beggar, if he be found worthy, this is the epigraph too. Uh, number A, T.S. Eliot, the hollow man. Num number B, Rudyard Kipling, the man who would be the king. Number C, George Eliot, Silas Marner. Number D, E.M. Forster, Howard Chan. And the correct answer is number B, that is Rudyard Ki Kipling, the man who would be the king. Next question. The phrase, leaves dancing. The phrase, lips dancing, is an example of best. Number A, pathetic fallacy. Number B, hyperbole. Number C, pun. Number D, conceit. And the correct answer is number A, that is pathetic fallacy. Okay, let's move on to our next question. At the end of The Great Gatsby, the narrator Nick Garraway observes, there were careless people. Who were they? At the end of The Great Gatsby, the narrator Nick Garraway observes, there were careless people. Who were they? Number A, Tom and Daisy. Number B, the Wilsons. Number C, Gatsby and, and his friends. Number D, the people of East Egg. And the correct answer is number A. That means Tom and Daisy. Let's jump into the next question. Who among the following purposes that the unconscious comes into being only in language? Who among the following proposes that the unconscious comes into being only in language? Number A, Sigmund Freud. Number B, Jax Lacan. Number C, Stuart Hall. Number D, Paul the Man. And the correct answer is number B, that is Jax Lacan. Okay, next question. Which of the following poems by Tennyson does not speak of old age and death? Which of the following poems by Tennyson does not speak of old age and death? Number A saying, The Beggar Man. Number B, The Lotus Eaters. Number C, Ulysses. Number D, Titonus. The correct answer is number A. That means The Beggar Maid. Okay, let's take the next question. Which of which novel of Graham Greene? Graham Greene in the following list does not end in some form of suicide by the protagonist. Number A saying The Heart of the Matter. Number B saying England Mad Me. Number C saying Brington Rock. Number D saying The Power and the Glory. The correct answer is number B that is England Mad Me. Next question. Who among the following gave a happy ending to King Lear? Who among the following gave a happy ending to King Lear? Number A is saying James Queen. Number B is indicating Nahum Ted. Number C is saying Paz Woffington. Number D is saying Charles Maclean. And the correct answer is number B, Nahum Ted. Next question. Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice starts with the famous statement, it is truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of life. As we get to read the novel, this statement seems to be made from the point of view of number one, the surrounding families, number B, Mrs. Bennett, number C, uh, sorry, number three, Mr. Bennett, number four, the women of Jane Austen's age in society. So what will be the correct one? Before revealing the question, you can choose any one of it and then you can judge whether you are correct or not. Okay, let's find out. The correct answer is, uh, means here, uh, Three or four options will be correct, so now let's try to find out. Number A saying one, two, and three are correct. One, two, and three are correct. Number C, B saying two, one, two, and four are correct. Number C saying two, three, and four are correct. Number D saying one, three, and four are correct. So what will be the correct one? The correct answer is number B. One, two, and four is correct. That means one, the surrounding families. Number two, Mrs. Bennett. Number four, the woman of Jane Astin's age in society. Okay? That's it. Bye-bye.